Big and Halo Black all night long. It may be very much of it, but believe me, I'm going to be all over the place, and I may very well play some Frank Sinatra if you start getting on my mood, on my nerves. So there you go. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Mind phaser packing. Here are some questions. Brian, somebody wants to remix one of your songs. Yeah, that's cool. Um, what's the best way for them to get a hold of you? Um, probably um, email. All right, email him, haloblack at hotmail.com. There you go. Raymond, someone wants to know if they can tour with you. Probably get a hold of you through the Six City label. They also want to know if they can get on to the Six City label. There's no label. There's no label. I mean, we're always in need of a stage slot or a tour hall, so <laughs> if they fit the bill, then come and audition. Yeah, how well do you fill the hole? Uh, that sounds like a potential yes, so... Uh, just email into the Six City, you know, into the website, www.thesixcity.com, baby. Yes, indeed. Let me play uh, a little bit of one of my favorite noisy little jagoffs, band called Merlin, for you kids out in the chat room, since you seem to like it so much. The song called Elevator Down. Yeah, that last track, Merlin, Elevator Down, from the album Vidi Well, Little Brother. Completely impossible to find. Uh, and yes, I am burning you off a copy of it before you send me in a nasty email saying, Hey man, where's my copy of it? You promised it to me. What's going on? Dude, that Jerry guy is so uncool. It's ridiculous. Um, okay, so we have uh, a request from Gordon for a track by Shaft, which... I guess it's extremely impossible to find, so tell me all about it. By the way, people, just so that you know, Ariane is here as well. Uh, Brian's got her singing all over new Halo Black material, and the stuff sounds really cool, and we're going to play it in a little bit. So uh, say hi. Scream at the top of your lungs. Hi. Uh-huh. That was pretty good. Hi. Kind of <laughs> sultry in a ooh, mm. twisted way. That was for Boulder. Huh? That was for Boulder. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, let me see what's going on here. Mm, this is open nice Yo, Oh, yeah, you like this? <laughs> Super high quality and pro. <laughs> uh, hey, Go Techie Boy, how you doing? Paul um, wanted a Was Wissen Sie Deutschland from uh, KMFDM, which we don't have with us, but we'll be playing a new track from KMFDM. But tell us about Shaft. Uh, Shaft is uh, a thing I did uh, several years ago with um, a couple of Japanese musician guys that I'd uh, run into when I was... Uh, doing stuff over there and um, we just decided to do something together um, and it turned into an album and a tour etc etc never got released anywhere else um, got a few people to do some remixes like Otegra and I don't know that mm -hmm. guy from Meet Me Manifesto and mm -hmm. various, various people got involved and uh, the CD I've given you is uh, from the album Switchblade and it's called Fetid Air cool Let's rock. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Quintessential Watts, baby. Quintessential Watts. So you don't like Never for Fun, huh? Man, we just had a uh, question about uh, is Poke in the Eye ever going to be released in the States again? And mm, hope not. Hope not. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I think it would do really well. I think it would do really well. If you guys are interested in seeing Raymond's early releases put out in the States, just bombard The Sick City with emails, www.thesickcity.com, and tell him, come on, you may hate it, but other people may love it, you know? And, hey, baby. That's sales. Sales. Oh, yeah. No, the raw I, cash. I'm never I won't been do too it. too worried about sales. I won't you know? prostitute for it. Can't fake that orgasm. <laughs> 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 um, let's see. We got a uh, whole load of questions. Brian from uh, Halo Black, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to say that again because uh, you know who he is. He's going to be in and out of the chat room. Some people in the Six City message board that had a couple of questions for Raymond. What's the status on re-releasing previous works? I think we've gone through that one. Secondly, someone was asking about a possible release of an instrumental version of Je Um Not happening. Not happening. And some of the some of the old stuff has actually been re-released. Um, 
I think, um, what was that album called? Uh, I don't know. A couple of the old ones have been re-released through uh, that label called Cleopatra. The, oh, Swi yeah. the Swining was re-released. Yeah, that's right. Um, stuck together with an EP called Red Roar and Saw. So that was, Saw. that was stuck out, sort of mm -hmm. The Swining, Red Roar and Saw. That was shoved out on Cleopatra. And they also re-released, um, I think, probably the second album called Praise the Lard. Yeah, which they, did. Uh, yep. they kind of unknowingly bought completely illegally. Oh, uh, no. They they bought it from some guy who was masquerading that he owned the rights to it. Oh, and, that's nice. Uh, Brian McNellis at work and getting fooled. Oops. Well, unfortunately, you know, it wasn't his fault. Some fucker had got hold of the fucking thing and just said, "Hey, I own the rights to this." Took the money and scarped <laughs> And then the next thing I knew was that hey, 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 people were saying to me, "I didn't know you'd re, -re you'd, you know relicensed praise the Lord." And I was going, "No, I haven't." They said, "Well, uh, oh, it's yes, in the you shop." So, you know, I had to sort of yeah. do the Sherlock Holmes thing of sort yeah. of following the trail yeah. back. Yeah. And yeah. to if you empty if, chest. You if know. you guys are interested in uh, trying to find it, check it out www.cleorex, C L E O R E C S dot com, and buy it. And then uh, tell them that you want the money donated to the sick city dot com. No, better see dogs. So. Yeah, okay. Oh, nice place. Uh, how well is the comp selling? We're not going to tell you. Valder says he wants to know how long your penis is. Okay, we're going to go for more of these intellectual questions in a little bit. However, we have a track from the new KMFDM album, Attack. The song is called Dirty, right here on Total Rock. Yes, indeed. And if you have questions for Brian, good luck. We're going to try and get him into the chat room, cleosucks.com. Now, now, be nice. If you can't say anything nice, say it twice. Just <laughs> oh dear, yeah, I got a little distracted there. Got all kinds of interesting qu uh, requests and questions. Got a request for some uh, Iron Maiden, but you know, the oh, other God. yeah, the other 21 hours of the day are reserved. Man of War forever. Total Rock, you're the best. Rob from New Zealand. Well, you know, I got to tell you, usually. I would play requests from anywhere around the world. Uh, I get requests from from Japan, uh, New Zealand, and would be perfectly fine. Uh, this one woman who's in Kiev who sends requests in all the time, and usually not things that I would play, but, you know, if you're going to get online and you're going to come and check this out and you're going to send in requests and you're in Kiev, sure. However, tonight, Iron Maiden, Man of War, Rob, I'm so sorry, it just ain't going to happen. So... Ariane, yes, you're getting all kinds of commentary, man. People want to know about Yoshi and what's going on, and they think that you're lovely and luscious and sticky and yum. <laughs> Play some Jet Boy Machine, yes, or I'll be forced to come and fuck Brian up in his stupid alternative lifestyle ass. Oh, yeah, they're coming to get you, baby. I know that one. Holy mackerel. Um, Shout-outs to... Uh, 16 Volt and the whole gang. Just heard that uh, Daniel Ash Servo from 16 Volt and Chemlab, easily the best drummer, period, hands down, uh, is out with Daniel Ash at the moment playing drums with him. And uh, he's uh, the tour's been pulled because the bus just rolled, I guess? Yeah, apparently their, uh, their bus rolled and they're going to cancel the first week of shows. So wow, what a drag. Everyone's all right, so they're going to regroup and uh, get on with it. Servo's okay, which is all that really counts at the end of the day. Because, man, losing a drummer and a, and a guy with a sense of humor like that, woo, what a drag, what a drag. I'm going to play some new 16-volt in a little while. Got all sorts of things coming up. I got some stuff off of the uh, Six City compilation. I want to play the new Halo Black. Um, but there's a question about T-shirts. Uh, yeah. Legacy wanted to know about Halo Black shirts. I've got some funky hell shirts. They're uh, silver and uh, white. And... Uh I guess you could email info at haloblack.com and um, I know some of your details and work on it, a trade of some sort and get those off my hands, yeah. There you go. www.haloblack.com. Send in your request for shirts. Swamp the guy. He's got a few left and actually what he should be doing is putting them up on eBay and auctioning them off and seeing just how high they'll go. What is eBay? Oh, man. Oh, you don't know eBay? I'm not an internet person. Uh, eBay is uh, it's an internet auction site. Mm. And uh, I've actually seen copies of my book, uh, a handbook on how to wreck other people's lives, selling for like 50, 60 bucks. 
What's going on? You can wreck someone's life far cheaper than that. Man. Yeah, no kidding. Wrecked my head to see that uh, you know someone was <laughs> making sixty bucks off it, and I wasn't seeing a penny. Uh, I want to say hi to the GoTechy gang out in Bristol. He wants to hear some of that stuff from Eight Bit Barbarella, which is a new project that uh, Ross from GoTechy and I are working on. Um, and if you want to be uh, aware of all of that, go and check out the GoTechy site, www. Gotechi. Ooh, might be co. Uk. Not sure. Um, I'm gonna stop talking here and play some Halo Black. This is off the Six City compilation. Punch the deck, baby. Now you see, I'm such a professional. I, I, that just really made me feel good. It made really. me feel good. <laughs> yeah, Raymond's like, oh yeah, uh huh, yeah. Do this one again. Do this one again. Yeah, I like this one. You can play this one all night. Strip nine. Uh huh. Okay, Jared. Let's see. Halo Black. Punch the deck. Honest. I promise. Man, that was a complete. Whoa. Last minute decision when we were um, putting together this little um, Six City compilation, um, kind of mastering it. Um, Brian was going to put on the other mix, uh, the sort of the latest mix that he'd got to, and that is actually a kind of remix thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, like there we were in this sort of the mastering studio, and uh, and I was going to him, well, well, have another listen to that one, you know, because I think that's pretty groovy, yeah. you know, and you know it's a bit of a different angle. And um, he listened to it and went, mm, yeah, why not? So it was like last minute decision between the mm -hmm. sort of the straight mix and then that one, and. Um, so yeah, I was. Uh, I'm. I'm glad that he put that one on because it's. Uh, I like that one. I'm fond of it. Yeah, know? it's but funky it, and sexy. But you know, I mean, there are loads of other mixes, and I'm sure mm -hmm. they will appear in different guys in under you know in different CDs yeah. or whatever. You know, are record. you putting up alternate remixes on the site that people can listen to? Um. Yeah, there are. Some, I mean, personally, I don't know fuck all about the site. Um, you know, Brian does all that stuff. Um, you know, I just give him sort of dats and things every now and then, and he shoves them up. Um, but I think I think it's. I'd rather have something if it's not going to be out on a CD or out through a label. And at the moment, I seem to be in sort of permanent kind of state of war with most record companies uh -huh. um, because I'm not radio enough. Yes, um, indeed. And the whole industry is such a nightmare anyway. Yeah. So, I mean, I'd rather just shove something up for free, you know, mm -hmm. than have it sitting on a shelf collecting dust, you know, indeed. and people can either listen to it and spit it out or listen to it and shit it out. I don't yeah. care, you know, yeah. but uh, I think that's, you know, although I don't really know about the internet, at least it's a conduit, I suppose, yeah. that people can you know, uh, suck it and see or whatever. You know? Indeed. And there are people up on the, in the chat room right now who, uh, who are saying, yes, yes, remixes on the site, put them up on the site. So, you know, I think, Brian, it would be worthwhile maybe putting up bits and bobs on the site that people can check out and download and listen to, different variations of things like Punch the Deck, different, you know, just variations of the songs. Yeah, um, we'll play some of that tonight as well. Cool, cool. Okay. That'd be great. I have a quick request for uh, Hellbent... Um, 21st Century Jet Boy Machine, which I'm going to play. And for Nick from the warehouse in Lacrosse, which is just the coolest club. Do you remember playing yeah, that joint? I played there a few times. Oh, man. Yeah. We just played there with Pig Face, and it was nutty. And it right. was, it's this little place up on the third floor, and you're loading in all your gear up like 60 stairs. And all these kids are there in the afternoon, like, yay, you guys are here, great. And they all mm. just hustle the stuff upstairs, and the place gets jammed, and the stage is about a foot high. And the cool. kids are right jammed up against you, which is the best way for it to mm. be, because mm. they're right there, and you can feel them, and just the sweat and the sex of it is so raw and mm. delicious. And we just got rocking so hard. And, of course, with Pig Face, it's like 19 people on stage, and the stage just got slick by the second song. Mm. So you're just ice skating around the whole time. It was what, hilarious. What, what was it slick with? Um, sweat and spit and uh, all kinds of just you know, general juices. I mm. work up one hell of a sweat. When so I get how on was stage. that tour then? When did, oh, it, when did superb, it finish? Was it superb. Finished uh, the day two days before Christmas. Right. How many shows did you do? Um, it's about five weeks worth of shows. Cool. Yeah. And how many were that really? Oh, yeah. 
Uh, there's about nine of us. Christoph from Bile on guitar, Seabold from Hate Department on guitar and vocals, Meg Lee Chin on vocals, Chris Connolly on vocals, Martin oh, Atkins Chris on Connolly. drums. Oh, yeah. What a sweetheart. He? Oh, he's wonderful. Cool. Vacuuming the bus in his dressing robe first thing in the morning every what morning. Darling. It's hilarious. Martin Atkins on drums. Um, uh, Twisty Twirlington from the Beer Nuts on drums. Um, Curse from... Uh, Evil Mothers and Grim Fairies on mm. keyboards and loops and the like. I was singing um, all kinds of people. And then, of course, guests galore because mm. it's Pig Face. And in 12 years, it's had over 250 different members. So yeah. every town you pull into, it's like, oh, hey, man, Beefcake from Guar, get on stage and play a couple of songs with it. Oh, yeah, I can do that. So, so it was a hoot, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's always just madness. Cool. Lots of fun. So Nick from The Warehouse, I'm sorry I haven't responded to your email, but I will indeed email me again and remind me, blah, 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 et cetera. This is Hellbent. 21st Century Jet Boy Machine here with Jared Lush on the Glam Industrial Rock Machine, Total Rock. 21st Century Jet Boy Machine. Oh, yes, you are back here on Total Rock. If you want to send in your request, studio at TotalRock.com or give me a call, 207 384 I'll pass you over to the growl of Mr. Watts or the squeak of Mr. Black. Sorry, Brian, really wasn't meant to sound quite like that. Hey, Ray, forget the sales. Release your early albums for the fans, man. Ray, you are God. And somebody also said that uh, pig CDs are selling for 200 bucks on eBay. Does that surprise anybody in the chat room? No. Can we get into the chat room to see you guys and talk to you and email you? No. So you got to send in your request, studio at TotalRock.com. Um, I had a request for some Cubanate, which we don't have. We also had a request for a uh, Schwein beach towel. Uh, <laughs> maybe we'll uh, auction one off on eBay at some point. <laughs> it is used? Yeah, used only. Uh, somebody also wanted me to play uh, some Chem Lab and give a shout-out to the Crazy Town Posse, yo, and shouts out to the 16-volt gang. I suppose I can do that. So they wanted to know if you uh, are ever going to work with Slick Idiot. Um, there was sent something uh, that they wanted me to have a yell on, but uh, I was kind of busy doing some other stuff at the time, so I didn't uh, get around to it, unfortunately. Um, and actually, don't even really uh, know what the guys are up to. Have they, did they finish their album, or was it released? And I don't know. I'm not sure. I know that they've been working on it, yeah. but I don't know if it's actually come out yet. Yeah, I kind of lost touch with them. I Do you know anything about it, Brian? Yeah, I think they've released it, and then they've also done like a remix album already. Really? Huh. It's only available at their website, which must be slickidiot.com. Yeah, www.slickidiot.com. Yeah. What does it sound like? Apparently, it sounds like Game of the Ender. Really? Huh. Well, that's a surprise. Yeah, gosh, how strange, how strange. Uh, question for Raymond, when will we hear more new pig material? Well, you'll be hearing it in a few minutes here. We're also going to play some pig orchestra and other cool things. Yes, I'm complaining, says somebody. Hey, Jared, Stephanie here. I'm not sure if you can see what's going on in the chat room, but I'm not impressed. Perhaps you could shed some light on what Sick City is exactly and why fans of it are behaving in this way. We've made our own channel now, Total Rock 2. Nice talking to you when you covered Badger's show, Take yeah, Care. That's pretty weird. What do you mean? These fans huh. are different from other fans? Yes, perhaps they're being pushy in the chat room and people feel like they can't defend themselves against the crazy Six City kids. Come on, guys, you can do it. Flex your little binary stream muscles. Maybe that chick should go to church. Maybe so, I don't know. She's a cool chick, though. She sent me some great emails when I was covering for Badger. Brian, tell me about this track we're going to play. It's called Junkie by Request. Yeah, what is it? It? Um, it was called Compressor for a while. And, oh, uh, yeah. Called up Raymond. He came down and uh, played some stuff on it. And uh, we took it back to his studio and did a completely uh, remake. Cool. And it's pretty epic. And people have been asking about it for quite a while. And I think we're going to play it for the first time right now. So. Dig it. All right. Yes, we are going to play it indeed. This track is called Junkie. Halo Black, baby. Turn yeah. it up. Frock. Now they have to turn it up at home. I got it cranked here, man. Seriously <laughs> unpleasant. Mm. Oh, it sounds really good. I like it a lot. Uh, once again, these are tracks that I've heard evolving and doing their thing yeah. and growing and mutating and getting hacked apart and rebuilt over the past couple of years. And it's cool to hear them actually start gelling. Yeah, and, uh, like a uh, handful of songs which have sort of gelled. Mm-hmm. 
And because no one's sort of forcing me to release an album, I'm just taking my time, just trying to do the best yep. job I can do. Yep, dig it, um, dig it. But on that front, yeah, I do have an album worth of material together. It sounds really good. And I've already started another group of songs, mm -hmm. which could be Halo Black, um, doing something totally different. Cool. So, um, yeah, soon things uh, sell, um, take off, and then I uh, hope they'll get something out um, the next six months. Mm-hmm. Is it going to be out through Six City, or are you actually going to find a, a bricks and mortar record label? Yeah, well, that's the thing. I'm just <laughs> I'm meeting with people and um, just trying to weigh it, weigh it out. You know, if it's really worth it. Um, so, you know, I've done a few releases on Independence, and and uh, you know, if the Six City took off, that would be the uh, obvious uh, winner. You know, mm -hmm. but um, I've, I've got to talk to a few more people um, before I can decide anything. Yeah. Um, but in the meantime, I'm working on the music, and um, I'm really happy with, with what, um, where it's going now. So. Hey, but Brian, I mean, is it, is it viable to, uh, to just release stuff, um, f you know, on any internet-based uh, level, you know, without uh, sort of using distributors and labels and stuff like that? I mean, do enough people buy shit directly from websites to make it viable? Apparently, it's, no one's really been successful at it. You know, a lot of bands have tried, but it just it doesn't not quite ready yet, but it's getting very close. I mean, we just did the compilation in the Six City, and that's uh, that's done really well. I mean, I think we got through a few hundred in the first day or two. Um, so that's not that's not bad. I mean, that's, that's you know, it, a medium-sized label would do much better. You know, and they spend a mm -hmm. lot lot more money yeah. to get there. So the overhead's really 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 small, so we can we can do more things like that. I mean, you know, I think it'd be great in an ideal world just to bypass all those people. That's, you know yeah, what I mean? Yes, it would. Yes, it would. You know, yeah. I think it'd make this sort of... I mean, I, I, if I was to buy a CD, I'd prefer to just buy it directly from the people who actually made the mm -hmm. damn thing. Mm -hmm. Sure. Than sort of buying it from this sort of, these sort of middlemen, basically. Yeah. Very much so. And it makes it you know, so much easier to just deliver it right to your front door as well. Yeah, it's also much more sort of personal, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, it is. It yeah. is. I mean, who needs those kind of people? I mean, you know... And record labels have changed so much, and the industry has changed so much, they don't understand the concept of, you know, mm. artist relations and artist development and yeah, getting behind sure. a band, signing a seven-album contract yeah. so that you can actually build them up and get them on the road and sure. get the records out there yeah, and really and I, do the grass works. And also there's the kind of the, the aspect of the, the almost kind of from the technological side of things. I mean, you don't need to go into a great big studio that costs you $2,000 a day mm -hmm. to come up with something that's like, you know... Uh, you know, l you know, in the ballpark of where you want it to sound. No, do you know what I mean? I mean, you, you know, I'm sort of mind blown by sort of what people have in their computers. Do you know what I mean? Oh, you've yeah. got that, you've got the studio in there, your soft synths, your samplers, the whole nine yards. Yep. You can do it in your bedroom. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So I like that idea of the kind of cottage industry approach. Do you know what I mean? Very do it so. small scale. If you can sell it directly to those people mm -hmm. who actually mm -hmm. want it, great. You know, and then. Well, bypass the, 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 I mean, my experience with A&R people, I mean, like, the, the TVTs of this world. I mean, <laughs> you, well, that says Gottlieb. it all, you know. Oh, yeah, yes. no kidding. TV tunes, boy. Oh, man, the Quintessence of cheese. Well, I, mean, I, I sort of had this kind of relationship with them where they wanted to sign me, and I sort of got it, sort of got vaguely into bed with them, and then they sort of, sort of heard what I did, and they went... It's not radio enough, and I was going. Well, mm -hmm. uh, what did you expect? What exactly did you think you were signing? Westlife? You know, exactly. come on, man! Yeah. Don't you? Are you just signing the band because your friends told you, or your advisors told you? Oh yeah, sign Pig. Well, yeah. great. What do they sound like? What do you mean? What do they sound like? Yeah. Look yeah. at the numbers that they've done on the last few records. Wow, yeah. wow, wow, wow. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Yeah. You know, if you're going to sign something, know your product. Mm. That's just ridiculous. Oh, this isn't radio. Yes, well, did you sign me for radio, mm -hmm. or did you sign me because you like what I've done previously and you yeah. have faith in what I can do next on your label? Yeah. Ridiculous. Mm. What's interesting about the cottage aspect, uh, mm -hmm. cottage industry aspect, mm -hmm. is that, you know, there's been this major label consolidation, and Seagram's has a lot to answer for because they've trashed the industry completely, and mm -hmm. it's all just raw numbers. But here you have this cottage industry aspect, people making records and releasing them, mm -hmm. you know, at home. And I think that the more that it becomes common currency, the more people are going to be able to make money from it, and yeah. we can bypass because. 
you know, bands like us, mid-level bands, just haven't got a hope of actually mm-hmm. getting a deal with a label that's got the money to promote right. them. And I, you know, I'm really glad that I'm signed to Invisible. But man, those guys just have a daily fight with getting their records into the stores. Sure. It's just terrible. Chains are closing all the time. It's a yeah. nightmare. It's a nightmare. Let me tell you. What are we doing here? Oh, boy, let me play some ads. I'll be right back. Uh, if you're wondering why we're not in the chat room, we're not responding to your emails, I'm waiting for the computer to come back alive. So you're just going to have to put up with us, aren't you? <laughs> Technology. I, I really want to make T-shirts with the little Mac bomb on the front. Technology. Great when it works. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Who's the oh. tick thing, was it? Uh, uh, yeah, actually, I've got that with got me. It, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, remix I did. One of the guys in the, uh, two of the guys from the, the Schwein thing have this band um, in Japan, and I did a remix for them, a pig remix, and I've got it somewhere. I'll dig it out and give it to you in a minute, and you can play it. Um, cool. So, uh, Kira is pinned back for that. Yes, indeed. Um, New Hellbent is, um, we're going to get together and do that. And, uh, yeah, I mean, no doubt about it. I'll- I don't know, it's up to Eric. He's doing a record, obviously. I'm doing a record. And Jared, that is, they're going to doing stuff. Eric from Eric 16, from 16 Volt. Volt. All right. And, you know, Levi's always available in many ways. So, um, cool. Yeah. Should someone, not be a problem. Gonna, doing stuff. Someone wanted to know, where is Levi? Like, why, <laughs> what? We didn't bring him in the studio? You guys must have left him in the car. So, yeah, baby, I, I'll be right there in a second. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh, uh, yeah Brian, baby, you cover for me, man. I'll, I'll be there in a second. And next thing you know, you go out to the car. Hey, Levi, come on inside. <laughs> Actually, no, he'd be sitting there and just telling stories to himself. <laughs> I think he gets up to far more interesting things than that. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed, he does. Yes, indeed, he does. He's a great character. I really dig him a lot. Shout out to Craig Hello Kitty Tyler. Oh, Craig, yeah. <laughs> Talked to Craig a couple of days ago. He's good. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. And what's Crazy Town doing? Well, working on a new record. And, really? Um, hoping I can get my grubby paws on some of that. Indeed. Um, wouldn't mind to give them you know, a little loop or two, because um, mm-hmm. I think people are expecting a, a pretty good record. Otherwise, mm-hmm. you know how things go. So. Yeah. But yeah, no, Craig's cool. Um, he's doing some stuff uh, for me right now, actually. So um, cool. Yeah, he's a great guy. A bunch of the guitar on the Halo Black stuff was originally Craig Tyler guitar. He's played on every track on this new record so far. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Very punchy guitar sound. Yeah, I mean, really I've like not found lot. anyone who can play like he does. Mm-hmm. Indeed, low slung and ballsy. Yeah, yeah. Stop this muse I told you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Real quick, before we play a new pig track, uh, since we're going through all these requests here, uh, people really want to know about Two Cut. Oh, well, I don't know how they heard about that. It's, uh, Did you bring d- any with you? Uh, no, I didn't. Um, <sighs> I haven't even heard any for years. It only exists on vinyl. It's some some sort of stuff I did uh, when I was living in Berlin um, uh, in the 80s and uh, for a change from the usual dirge of working with people I know about and then throwing out pig things and stuff and generally throwing up uh, <laughs> I would um, jump into the studio and do this rather ridiculous music um, which I flogged to Virgin and a couple of little indie labels and uh, it came out under the name of Two Cut and uh, it only exists on vinyl and like I said I don't even have a record player and haven't heard it for years and years mm-hmm. but maybe if anybody's uh, masochistic enough and they made a request and I was feeling sadistic enough <laughs> um, I could get somebody to put it onto some kind of CD and uh, throw it into uh, your post box there you or go. onto this site there or something go. like that so if you've got requests for it go to the Six City site and email them and tell them give me the two cut yo boom I need it bad I'm jonesing for it mm, we're waiting yes indeed how do I get Merlin um that's Pretty hard. I thought he died in about hard. 800. Yeah, he did indeed, but man, his solo record is insane. Uh, Brian, they want to know who's sexier, Prince or Pig? <laughs> well, um, <laughs> Pig. Who's, what's, what's Pig? I know Raymond's he's, he's pretty sexy, but uh, mm-hmm. um, yeah, no, Prince is a great, great character. I mean, can't go on about that, but um, <laughs> yes, you're contractually bound not to talk about yeah, him. I'm afraid. Like that, but, um, okay. Does he still make records? Yeah, and actually his last one's actually quite good. So um, I've got some old stuff on my plate tonight. Some old school prints when he was at his prime. 
Cool. Maybe we'll uh, play some of that. I could go for that. Yeah, yeah. I could go for that. Let's see. What do we have here? A new from Pig. This is off of the Six City compilation. This is a song called Take. Anything you want to say about it besides... <sighs> Take it any way you like. Yeah. and everything seems to be working well. A bunch of people seem to have been kicked out of the chat room, which is strange because we're not doing it, and I don't know who is. However, uh, come back in or send your requests in to us. If you can't manage the chat room, send in your requests and questions to studio at TotalRock.com or give me a call here, 0207-384-1010. I've got Raymond Watts from Pig and Brian Black from Halo Black and Hellbent and numerous projects between them. There goes the phone. Uh, let me see. Here's some questions for you. Will Ray ever cover a Depeche Mode song? No. It's... Uh... Just like um, I, I adore them too much, you know, <laughs> I, I could, couldn't bring myself to slaughter that sacred cow. Yes, indeed. It's like me trying to do a Bowie cover. It mm. would also be too obvious for me, that's for sure. Mm. I suppose the cheekbones are too similar, aren't they? Vocals for a hip hop track? Well, if I could ever find and listen to any of this old two cut stuff, um, I think some of it was vaguely hip hoppy. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I've already done it. I can't remember if I pissed on that particular lamppost or not. Um, there's another question there. Is that pig two disc genuine American monster uh, instrumental stuff CD going to happen? Um, well, I got so disheartened. Uh, by uh, my bad. little situation in bed with uh, TVT when I was doing that uh, Genuine American Monster thing because uh, they didn't like it because it wasn't a radio enough and they just generally kept sticking spokes in the bloody wheel and throwing spanners in the works that um, I think I might just leave that little one to die slowly and uh, get on with the next one and uh, let that just stay and then shit it out when it's ready. Cool. All right. Uh, in response to Nick, yes, that email that you requested is the same one. Somebody also requested Some Velvet Morning, the Lee Hazelwood, Nancy Sinatra track, which I would love to play, and I would really like to play it back-to-back -back with the version that um, Lydia Lunch did with Roland Howard, uh, which was mm. released on 4AD in the early 80s and just sounds fabulous. But I don't have it with me, so that's just too bad. Is there going to be another Aliens record? Yes, I'm in the process of working with uh, two guys, sort of my secret weapons at the moment, this uh, crazy French guitarist who's straight out of Keith Richards' 1972, and man, the guy is just glam and noisy and twisted and rock, and he's so into oh, programming. Oh, yeah. He's been, uh, he's been working with Shadow, with uh, Ollie, 
Mm. Um, and uh, I've asked Ollie to come and work with me on the new Aliens record. So Ollie, who's been doing oh. some of the programming with Raymond and Brian. Actually, I was working with him this afternoon, actually. Mm. He's a great guy. He's he does great. some really cool stuff. Yeah. And uh, I really like his programming. Uh, yeah, and he uh, and Feathers and I, I think, could put together a great Aliens record. So that's what we're going to try and do and just throw it down real, you mm. know, digital glam rock and raw and mm. uh, not worry about everything being quantized and just kick out the jams and yeah. I think it's going to be really fresh cool. really cool so yeah looking forward to that what else do we have here uh, and just so that people know who are wondering why this is such a, a specialist show, it's because it's a specialist show tonight. Uh, I'm usually much more broad than this, as anyone knows who normally listens to this show. Lots of machine rock and weird ambient stuff, but also regular rock and roll and jazz and blues. We'll get into some jazz and blues in a little bit, just to freak you guys out. Uh, and the chat room is very strange tonight. I don't know what's going on with you guys, but y'all have to behave, or I don't know what's going to happen, but I won't do anything. How's it going, man? Just kicking back with the show. Can you play some Fetus? Uh, yeah, I think I have some with me, so I will look and see. The new album's really good, and I think that I have the remixes. There's a great Amon Tobin remix of mm. one of the songs from the new Fetus album, which is fabulous. I'll play some Amon Tobin in a little while as well. However, first, uh, by request, this is... From the Queen of the Damn soundtrack, Marilyn Manson doing a song called Redeemer, which I really <laughs> dig. Oh, I think it's really cute. I do. <laughs> Raymond just fell off his chair. <laughs> Over and um, because uh, we were involved in the last, uh, well, the, the f upcoming KMFEM album, uh, we've been uh, working out how to tour it. Um, but the band will comprise of uh, the pig drummer, the two pig guitarists, myself, cool. um, Sasha and Bill. Um, and so we will probably be uh, playing KMFDM stuff, but also, as it's basically the, the whole pig band playing uh, with KMFDM as well, we will uh, probably shove in a few little um, pieces of pork. Um, <laughs> Cooked or raw? Well, hopefully raw. I always prefer it bloody myself. Yes, indeed. Uh, so, yeah, there will be um, some pig stuff uh, probably being uh, exposed uh, in the not-too-distant future, but whether it's under the kind of pig moniker, who knows? It's more going to be like a sort of kind of KMFDM pig kind of hybrid because it's such a sort of incestuous little dirty relationship. Yes, that, indeed um, it is. Mm, Gets we, under the nails. Mm, we should really be, uh, you know, we should really live in a sort of Catholic... Somebody oh, get a bucket of cold water. He's getting hot. No. Splash it all over him. Separate these dogs. Well, no, it's, it's, it is a bit of a little incestuous kind of situation. It is so, uh, and it has been for years. Yeah, I mean, everybody's in everybody else's pants. So we might as well just... Uh, you go know, out on the road together. To, shake them out to dry in front of yeah. you all, and you can all throw up whenever you want. Where would the tour be? States, England, Europe, Japan, um, all of it? Well, I mean, nothing is... I mean, if there are a few festivals confirmed uh, for Europe, but um, hopefully in the next few days uh, we should have confirmation about uh, UK dates. Um, and then might pop over to America and then come back and do some uh, festivals in Europe. And uh, then possibly go back and do a headline tour of the states in the cool. fall but as cool. yet you know nothing is confirmed so yep. i can't say yeah. anything for definite until it's you know yeah you know. updates and details at the six city site indeed indeed cool. as long as brian's on the case mm -hmm. dot com. that's where you can find it all plus remixes tour info cute pictures of brian's butt and Ariane's feet, which at some point we're going to try and get on the camera because there have been loads of requests for it, almost yeah. more than requests for songs. Get your feet out, baby. Yeah, get, get her feet out. Why Come are you on. hiding back there? <laughs> Come on, man. This is the hardest rock on the planet? Question mark. Play some Sum 41, Fat Lip, or Disturbs, Voices, Police. Well, let me tell you, Lonnie, normally on my show I could easily play Disturbed, but this is a specialty show, so tonight we're not going to. 
I'm sure that you've got both of those CDs at home, so if you're not enjoying the show, I know there are plenty of people who are. don't want to piss you off too much. Why don't you turn the volume down on this and turn the volume up on your CD player? And go to bed. Indeed. Uh, man, I don't know what is up with all of this banning that's going on. You guys should just email in if it's getting uh, too much and send your questions in here. Phone, uh, phone, 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 yeah. phone, phone. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah, I think uh, Scold's girlfriend just emailed us in. Cool. This is uh, a much-requested Hellbent track called Burnout. It's Brian and uh, Eric from 16 Volt doing some very cool stuff from the first album. Here it is. If you want a copy of this album, you can get it through Invisible Records. Also, a lot of this music is available through where? Musicnonstop.co.uk www.musicnonstop.co.uk Yeah, it's the same site that carries uh, our compilation volume 1. Cool. And they've got it they've got all the good stuff, so great. Yeah. That's where you can pick up a lot of the stuff that you've been hearing tonight. So, and if uh, you're looking for Disturbed and Sum 41, well, you might find it there too. Gosh. Hmm. It'll keep you happy, I'm sure. David Bowie Sons of the Silent Age goes out to Chad. So, uh, yes, that's right. This is a specialty show, and it isn't always like this. It's usually a little broader. However, uh, I'm just I'm having a really good time tonight with Raymond and Brian. And so, there you go. And if you're looking for Black Sabbath, I'll play it for you next week. And by the way, I'm sorry that I didn't bring in that butthole surfers for you. Uh, scare them. However, we'll get there. Uh, Celine Dion, ooh, ah. Man, only if I could play some Autechre underneath so that I could have that mixing in and out because that would be really fun and I really enjoy doing that sort of stuff because, you know, it keeps people on their toes and, uh, and of course, then I get to really stick it to Celine, which is always a pleasure. So staying in the low, down-tempo type of slow-mooded head that we're in, it's a Buck Tick remix that Raymond did, the Japanic remix. Japanic uh, Panic. Japanic Panic. I, I don't know what the song's called, I can't remember. And I haven't heard it for a while, but when you said you were in a low-down kind of... Uh, mm, gentle kind of mood, I thought this might fit. Uh, cool. If I can recall correctly. <laughs> Let's hope you do. Uh, it's also long, so kick is back. It? Yeah, baby. Oh, it's like eight minutes long, oh, well, we'll which is also it. pretty unexpected for my show. However, what the hell? We're going to do it anyway. Be generous. Stretch yourself yeah. once. Ouch. That'll take us almost to the tail end of the program. We're going to have to work on getting Ariane's feet out. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. This is Buck Tick. Buck Tick. 